tutorial i am going to show you how you can create your own digital marketing tool so for digital marketing tool we will be using pyqt aws ses services and python 3.6 so if you see here i have created a window which was created by python gui tool pyqt and uh, you see there there is a list in the list you can send an email from these two emails and you can uh, uh, identify here the messages uh, you can uh, give a subject name and also your message which you want to send your message and put your uh, html code in this text area and then if you want to send an a test email you can send a test email by clicking this button and uh, once you send the test email then you can check your email uh, for verification whether your email which you have designed is okay for uh, send it to the mass or not and once it is checked then you can send suppose that now if i send it without checking so it will say that please first test your email and check this box now let me show you how you can um, test this application so i am changing this subject to the high and uh, message to the whatsapp and here is the email on which i am going to send this uh, email and the email will be sent from sleepwell at the red sleepwell dot tech okay let's click send a test so once we click the send test and now we can go into our uh, email and here is the my email and see here sleep well okay sleep well and hi whatsapp okay and apart from that here you can see event stats that's mean how many emails when you sent and how many emails were delivered how many emails were opened and how many emails were clicked by the uh, sender clicked by the uh, receiver and how many emails were bounced and how many emails were uh, registered as a complaint and then you can see here the sent stats such as in a sentence stats suppose that on which date for which country and for what type of event type you selected and when and the total email which was sent and from here you can select the country event type and emails which we want to send suppose that if i send the before one minute that's mean all those emails which was before one minute delivered okay so it will get all those email which was delivered before one minute okay and if i click on this open then it will get all the emails which was open before one minute okay and if i click on this click if i select the click and get email it will get all the email which was clicked before one minute so if i click on get email you will see here there were 507 emails which was clicked before one minute okay right so if i click after one minute that's mean after one minute and uh, after one minute means in last 60 seconds you can say in last one minute how many emails were clicked so if i get click on this get emails there would not be any email since the last email was sent of course uh, it was sent in uh, 27 march so it, it's not uh, saying here anything and suppose that if i uh, click here uh, if i select here let's say uh, one and week so after one week there is no and four week that's the uh, that's around the one month so there was only one email which was clicked okay right so here you see that email which was clicked now let me show you how you can uh, uh, 
create this application for which we will be sending an email one more thing i would like to show you here that that uh, you will be needing a python 3.6 pyqt5 and aws account to develop this application apart from these three main components there are many more other sub components which we will be learning throughout this tutorial series so before that um, uh, i would like to show you that code how you can develop that so you need to install the pyqt which i'll be covering in next tutorial so here is the pyqt uh, graphical user interface which is known as a qt designer so in this qt designer you see there here i have a combo box okay in the combo box there is only one variable that's the global and here is another combo bag combo box that is the that is for selecting event type and if you see this combo box so it has four type of variable and you can add here new item also and here is another combo box okay so this combo box says that the uh, how many uh, items are there so before and after there is another combo box okay and here is another combo box okay and this one is the push button so once user press this push button it generates a click event and then you can perform your get email and this is a simple a label which will be uh, showing that the how many emails to be sent after selecting uh, completing these criteria and this is the total emails which will show you how many total emails are available in the data okay apart from this i would like to also show you uh, amazon web services part in which uh, we will be coding so here is that code right so here is uh, uh, amazon web services console window and i am using north virginia which is us east one in which we will be using we will be using simple notification services simple queue services and uh, we will be also using ses and uh, sns so let's select the ses so once we get the ses that is the simple email services in a simple email services if you see here sending statistics i have total Five like emails. That's the point. Five million emails per twenty-four second uh, per twenty-four hour period. That is sending quota. And if you see my reputation, so here is the reputation. Bounce rate is zero point five three percent, which is well below the uh, standard, and which was measured over the last uh, fourteen days. And uh, in last fourteen days, total email which was sent by my AWS account, it was uh, around. Hundred thousand eligible emails, and if you see here the complaint rate, that is zero point one five percent, which is uh, which is well below that the standard zero point five percent, and it was measured over the ten thousand eligible emails. And apart from that, if you see here the domain which I have, so these are the domain uh, which is uh, verified. Uh, and from these e domains i can send the emails to the uh, customer and here is the list of emails from which i can send an email to the customer okay in the domain if you see all those all these domains has been verified i'll be showing this throughout this tutorial series how you can verify these domains okay and the domain apart from domain this dkim and the dkim verification etc everything has been done which we need to set uh, if you have your own uh, domain and mail from domain uh, if you want to send from your uh, suppose that um, from your custom domain if you want to send email from your custom domain you can send that also so here suppose that if you want to send list.sleeplab.online then you can also send that and it is verified okay that is the mail from domain which i have also created and also i have done setup for that too 
apart from this uh, CS, I'll be also using uh, other services such as uh, Lambda services. In the Lambda services, if you see here in the Lambda services, Lambda services, uh, I'll be coding here Lambda, that is the um, JavaScript. I'll be writing this Lambda code into the JavaScript in which it will need AWS, okay, in which it needs AWS SDK and uh, uh, this uh, JavaScript code will be reading uh, notification from the SES and the SQS, that is the simple queue services and then finally uh, we will be um, handling bounce and uh, complaint delivery services and uh, opening, okay. So here you see the switch type, the event type, if bounce occurs, it will handle the bounce message. If complaint occur, it will handle um, complaint message for the delivery, it will handle delivery and for open, it will handle open. For the click, it will handle by handle click. Apart from this, we will be also using DynamoDB for managing our total database. So the DynamoDB is no SQL services. Uh, this is no SQL database service and if you see in the table, so current uh, application is being managed by the mail and if you see in the mail, in mail you see there total item is 1 lakh, that's the uh, 197,000, okay. So the mail uh, and the database, uh, the database is um, here into the test. So the total database, if you match this total database, which we have seen in our earlier application, this is the same, 96,659 total email. So this test shows that the total email, which is available, and um, in the mail, mail shows that the total email, which has been sent by this application. So I have sent total 100, 97,000 emails by using that application which I have created and for which uh, I am showing you this video tutorial. And here the sent stat shows that how many, um, um, when you send that emails, you can see, see, see here the date type and the event type and the total, okay. So here you see there the global country name it was sent and uh, on this date which is uh, this date is uh, uh, in unix type and event type is the open and this is the total how many uh, this is you can see here from here you can get that was the total email okay so it was total number of emails, 12 total number of emails was sent when that was the after one minute. And if you come here, you will see there all emails that was 96,642 email and before one minute. Okay, it selects all the email which was added before one minute. So that was uh, 96,642 emails. Okay, and at this time, I had selected the event type delivery, okay. So it has selected only those email which was deliver only, okay. So it has excluded all the email which was open, which was clicked. And uh, after excluding open and the click email and also bounce and the complaint. So total 84,088 emails was left which I sent on this date globally. That's went to all the countries okay apart from this we will be also using other services such as uh, sqs services that the simple queue services aws so here i have this uh, queue sqs and the url of this queue is here and the end point of this url is here Okay, so I think I have covered all the basic things for which I am going to cover. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial.
and from the next tutorial i'll be starting from very basic how you can install the python and then pyqt and then how you can design this thanks for watching Thank <music> you.